Picture this. A military operation unfolds seamlessly until a critical satellite suddenly malfunctions. Communications collapse. GPS systems vanish. Surveillance data is no longer available. The cause? A covert attack by an anti-satellite weapon deployed by an adversary thousands of miles away in orbit. This isn't a futuristic movie plot. It's the looming reality of the emerging space arms race. Space once seen as the domain of exploration and discovery is rapidly transforming into the next battleground. The stakes? Absolute dominance in a domain that controls navigation, communication, and warfare. Today, we delve into the race for space supremacy, where the US, China, and Russia are competing to weaponize the final frontier. We'll explore groundbreaking technologies, ethical dilemmas, and the risks humanity faces as we militarize the cosmos. For decades, space symbolized humanity's ambition to explore and unite. International cooperation brought us the International Space Station, ISS, and missions to the Moon and Mars. But beneath the surface, military interests in space have been growing for years. Satellites have become vital assets for navigation, reconnaissance, and communication. Space is now a force multiplier in modern warfare, enabling precision strikes, real-time intelligence, and global coordination. As these capabilities became central to military operations, the idea of safeguarding space gave way to the urgency of dominating it. Why the Space Force was created? In 2019, the United States formally established the Space Force, recognizing the growing significance of space in defense strategy. It's tasked with protecting U.S. space assets and ensuring dominance in orbit. Key functions of the Space Force. Number one, managing GPS systems critical for navigation and targeting. Number two, operating satellite communications for military coordination. Number three, monitoring space activity to identify and mitigate threats. Number four, overseeing missile warning systems to detect incoming threats. Investing in space superiority. The Space Force began with an initial budget of $2 billion, which has grown steadily, reaching $13 billion by 2024. These investments underline the U.S.'s commitment to staying ahead in the space race. Key technologies under development include the Boeing X-37B, an unmanned, reusable spacecraft capable of staying in orbit for over 900 days. While its missions are classified, it is believed to be testing technologies like advanced sensors and energy systems, directed energy weapons, space-based lasers capable of disabling satellites or intercepting missiles at the speed of light. These weapons represent the next frontier in precision warfare. China's bold moves in space. China is making rapid advancements, challenging U.S. dominance with ground-based lasers. These systems can disrupt or destroy satellites, posing a serious threat to adversaries' space infrastructure. Satellite networks. By developing its own global navigation system, Beidou, China reduces dependence on GPS and gains a strategic edge. China's dual-use technologies blur the line between civilian and military applications, allowing it to advance its military agenda under the guise of peaceful exploration. Russia's space strategy is steeped in innovation and disruption. Matryoshka satellites. Named after Russian nesting dolls, these satellites can split into multiple components, performing surveillance or even offensive missions. Kamikaze satellites. Designed to collide with and disable enemy satellites, these weapons offer a destructive, last-resort capability. Historical efforts like the Polyus Orbital Weapons Platform, an attempt to deploy a laser-equipped satellite during the Cold War, demonstrate Russia's long-standing ambition to militarize space. Anti-satellite weapons, or ASATs, are designed to disable or destroy satellites. They can be ground-based missiles, space-based systems, or directed energy weapons. Let's discuss some notable ASAT tests. China's 2007 test. China destroyed one of its own satellites, creating over 3,000 pieces of space debris that continue to threaten other satellites and the International Space Station. India's mission Shakti in 2019. India demonstrated its ASAT capability by intercepting a satellite in low Earth orbit. 
These demonstrations show that multiple nations now have the ability to disrupt or destroy critical space infrastructure. Now, the big question about the problem of space debris. Every ASAT test generates debris that poses a significant threat to operational satellites and human space missions. The accumulation of debris could lead to the Kessler syndrome, a chain reaction of collisions that renders parts of Earth's orbit unusable for decades. The U.S. is developing space-based lasers capable of disabling enemy satellites without creating debris and intercepting ballistic missiles mid-flight. These directed energy weapons offer precision and speed unmatched by traditional kinetic weapons. The Space Wireless Energy Laser Link project explores the possibility of transmitting energy wirelessly via lasers. Potential civilian applications include powering remote areas and supporting disaster relief, while military applications could provide continuous power to satellites, drones, and even weapons in orbit. Hypersonic strike platforms, combining hypersonic speeds with orbital capabilities, could revolutionize warfare by enabling near-instantaneous strikes anywhere on Earth. The U.S.'s reliance on space assets makes them a critical vulnerability. Disabling GPS satellites could paralyze navigation and targeting systems. Attacking communication satellites could sever military coordination. This reliance underscores the importance of defending these assets while highlighting their strategic risk. Ethical questions in space militarization arise. Does the development of space weapons prevent conflict, or does it make war more likely? The Outer Space Treaty, signed in 1967, prohibits weapons of mass destruction in orbit, but says little about conventional weapons like ASATs or lasers. As nations race to develop space-based technologies, the lack of comprehensive regulation raises concerns about the future of conflict in orbit. While much of the space arms race focuses on military capabilities, some technologies offer benefits for humanity. Disaster Relief Satellites equipped with lasers could beam power to areas affected by natural disasters. Environmental monitoring. Advanced sensors could track climate change and natural disasters in real time. Balancing military innovation with civilian applications will be key to ensuring that advancements benefit humanity rather than fueling conflict. The emerging space arms race is a defining challenge of the 21st century. As the US, China, and Russia compete for dominance, the risks and rewards are immense. Will space become a sanctuary for innovation? Or will it descend into chaos as a new battleground? As the space race intensifies, how should nations balance innovation with security? Is space militarization a necessary step? Or does it push us closer to global conflict? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Challenge. Imagine a future where space is fully weaponized. What technologies do you envision and how would they shape the world?